I got this old guitar The strings are rusty but it's all I need Hey everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up your own mobile Bitcoin wallet on your phone. It's a super simple process and today I am working with one called Copay. You can find it on the Apple Store or on Android on the Google Play Store. Once you've downloaded the app, open it up. It will ask you if you'd like push notifications. Always hit yes, typically. Um, it's good to know when money's coming in. Um, and then just scroll through the terms and hit I agree. This will take you to your main screen. You can see here there are <laughs> zero bits because there's no money in there yet. Uh, it's currently set to US dollars. Down along the bottom, you'll see receive, activity, and send. Those are the main functions that you will need to know about in this video. Up at the top right, there is a settings tab or a wallet preferences. If you go over to the opposite side, there's this other little tab that you can open up. Um, that's your wallet there, but down below you can add a secondary account or another wallet. Um, options to buy and sell Bitcoin. And there's another settings here. Now this I find a little bit strange. There is a settings tab which is different on this side than what we were just looking at on the top right corner there. So let's go hit the receive button at the bottom. The first time you do this, you're gonna see something that says backup needed. This is very important. If you lose your phone, you do not wanna lose your money. When you hit backup now, it's gonna give you this phrase of 12 words. Uh, now I'm not worried about showing this right now because I'm gonna clear out this wallet and delete it after I'm done with it. Um, but this phrase, what you're going to do is you're going to write down that phrase somewhere and it, you're going to have to re-input it in the correct order so that uh, the wallet knows that you have backed up this phrase. Um, what would happen if you lost your phone and you kept this phrase safe is you can re-download the app, input your phrase, and you will be able to recover your funds. Now, it is very important that you keep this somewhere safe. Treat it like cash because if you lose it and you lose your phone, you lose your money. Um, not only that, you don't want to just leave this lying around where anybody can see it because if somebody has access to that phrase, they essentially have your money. All right, let's go back into receive now that we're done that. It will now take you to your uh, QR code, which anybody can scan to send you money. Um, there are a few things down below here. You can hit share address um, and it gives you options to copy um, apps to share it through. There's no danger in sharing your address here. Um, the worst anybody could do is send you money. Uh, you can also request a specific amount um, and when you put in whatever amount you would like, uh, the QR code will be adjusted so that anybody who scans it will automatically be asked to send that amount that you have specified. Over here on the other side, if you go to send, uh, there's a few things here. There's a to field, so if somebody were to text you their address, which is a string of characters, uh, you could paste it in. You can also hit this little circle up in the top and that opens up your camera to allow you to scan a QR code to send to it. All right, let's just take a quick look at a transaction in action. So I pull up my receive screen and somebody, right now myself, uh, would pull out their phone and give that a scan with their app. So you can see it pulls up the camera. Off screen, I'm just sending an amount and you should see it pop up on the screen pretty quick here. So looking at the activity screen, I just hit a, I just tapped it to refresh, uh, and I can see that I've received some funds. Uh, right now it's in bits. Um, you can change that to bitcoins. Bits are just a smaller denomination, kind of like we have quarters and pennies um, for dollars. Now let's try sending some back here and just get a quick look at what we've got here. So like I said before, you can pull up the send tab. Or you can from the main screen tap on the same icon. Uh, it's very quick to scan and I'll just type in an amount here. Up top, if you do want to clear it out, you can just hit send max. I'm going to be doing that just because I'll be clearing out this wallet and deleting it afterwards. 
so I'll send max. Uh, it does charge a fee. Those go to the miners, the people that are maintaining the Bitcoin network. Um, very small, a few cents. Sent it from my screen, and there we go. You can see that transaction. I can go into it, take a look at it, uh, see it on the blockchain. It is all right there in front of me, very quick. That would work the same anywhere on the planet to any address, uh, very quick transactions. But there is one thing I wanna show here. Uh, if you go into settings um, on the left-hand side there, uh, you can change your currency. So I'm in Canada, so Canadian dollars make sense for me. You can also change the units of Bitcoin. So I like having mine in full Bitcoin, um, but some people like uh, using bits because, well, it's a larger number. So um, yeah, it, it's default to bits, but you can change that easily enough. Currently, I would say that Copay is my favorite mobile Bitcoin wallet. And the reason for that is that it is so simple, so bare bones and easy to use. Um, it's great for new users because there's not a lot there. It's pretty much all self-explanatory. Uh, I encourage you to take a look at it, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you would like further tutorials and info on Bitcoin, please subscribe and keep it locked here for more on the BTC sessions.